Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our F2B Interaction Series. I am just finishing up the assembly machine. It actually, wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, once you get the motors done, it is really not that bad. So there is just a bunch of stainless steel, gold cables, basically. And... Uh, yeah, it's actually. Uh, there we go. And there we go. So we got a better advanced machine. Now I will probably need a signalum. From now on, we'll just do all the circuits in the HV machine. So basically, whenever I get a new assembly machine I just switch over to only using this one so instead of using this one um, we'll do that in here but before we can do that unfortunately um, I just wanted to get this out of the way because it is a little bit involved with the crafting um, like I said wasn't too terrible I wanted to get that out of the way but before we really can start Utilizing this is one for the nanoprocessors. Um, I really want to get this. We have everything now except for, I can't remember which one it was. One of the SMDs we don't have because we don't have polyvinyl chloride and we don't have epoxy. So that basically means we're going to have to get into some chemistry, whether we like it or not. And uh, yeah, I think before. I'm really just holding off on doing a whole bunch of single use setups. We can, um, but I would rather do them in HV so I don't have to like break, like these are all LV, which is fine. Um, but I would much rather than be in, wait, is this full? No, that's just waiting for Brian. For a second, I thought this was full of chlorine. <laughs> no, we're only up to 289. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm kind of holding off as much as possible until we can get, I think HV will probably be our main, like all these chemistry lines will all be HV, I think. Uh, it's a decent speed without having to be, we don't need it super fast because a lot of the stuff just, you do it once and then, you know, it'll just kind of fill up as we need it, but we don't need a whole ton of them. Like I'll do... You know, I'll craft up however many, you know, 32 epoxy circuit boards. That's going to last us for quite a while, you know, so we won't need to worry about it again. So that is uh, kind of what I am thinking. And I'm just kind of trying to get this stuff done. Now, there is, I think polyvinyl chloride is the first one we need to do. Let's, let's do that one. I think, which one is it for? Never remember. No. This one? This one, yes. So you either can do silicon rubber or polyvinyl chloride. I actually haven't never thought about just skipping polyvinyl chloride. Never do. This involves a bit more. We have to get this poly, which is Silicon hydrochloric acid. Eh, probably just do polyvinyl chloride. It's good to have. Um, and unfortunately, there is no. I was kind of hoping there would be like a. In the quest book, it would kind of say, okay, do this, do this, do this. Um, I have done it before. It's not difficult, but um, it doesn't look like a polyvinyl chloride is in here. But there are other ones in here that we will definitely look at. Um, epoxy resin. This flow chart, by the way, is really, really cool. I was looking at that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to do, like I said, I'm just going to do a bunch. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to get a, a bunch of this polyvinyl chloride. So why don't we just start doing this? Um, yeah, so we basically just kind of work backwards. But we're going to do that. To get the polyvinyl, we'll mix that with oxygen, so we need vinyl chloride. 
How do we get vinyl chloride? We mix chlorine and ethylene. Well, chlorine we're producing, so that's like a base material. What are we looking at here? So we got vinyl and... All right, this one looks better, I think. Yeah, because we kind of get... I feel like this one's more efficient. One ethylene gets us one vinyl chloride, one hydrochloric acid. Whereas this one, like, uses a hydrochloric acid and an oxygen. I don't know. I mean, you're, the chlorine's kind of being used there. Uh, so ethylene. What would be the best way to get ethylene? Well, it had us doing this earlier, which was ethanol and sulfuric acid. I should really... How did it do its fermented biomass or biomass was it? I don't when was it? I don't remember. It had it over here. We crafted up this stuff. Biomass. Is that what it yeah. And then biomass was just it was just uh we were using sugarcane or something, weren't we? Something really easy to get. I actually have a bunch right here. Really should uh, look at more of an automated thing for that. I did plant it right next to this though, so it does pick up a lot of the <laughs> e, the thing picks it up. Anyway, I'll throw that in there. I mean, we don't get a ton of it out of it, but you know, we get some. Uh, but ethanol and then sulfuric acid that um, I don't want it to go in there though because this is not what we want it to do Man, I have a whole bunch of I didn't realize I had so much of this there we go Pull oxygen out. We don't need that right this second. We just want the ethylene, basically. Uh, sulfuric acid uh, is probably something I want to automate at some point. Right now, I think we're okay, though. We'll just let that produce ethylene, I think. We got a whole bunch of sulfuric acid from that west and uh, i actually do have quite a bit of sulfur now somewhere or i will after i process all this pyrite because we get sulfur there so i just haven't got around to doing that well, so far i thought we had sulfur i thought we were getting sulfur some somewhere wrong Anyway, well, that is producing. Holy cow, is that slow? I don't remember that being that slow. Where did I put the. Yeah, so there's the thing. And then basically, we just mix it with chlorine. So we can come over here to our thing with chlorine. I don't know. Should we do like eight? That'll get us a decent amount for the time being. Are right, finishing the quest? I should check the quest because the quests are actually really good. Uh, they've been giving us really decent rewards. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Salt. Salt gets us more chlorine, which we don't really need. I have a whole thing set up for it, but I will put that aside. What is this one? Just kind of looking at the thing that's telling us to get. We will get hydrochloric acid, I believe. From what we're doing, actually. But uh, all right, so we'll just put that in there. Yeah. Well, actually, we'll just do. I can actually complete that quest right now. <laughs> there we go. Do we get anything good? No, that one does not give us anything. 
No idea what I'm going to do with this hydrochloric acid at the point. Um, usually I do set up a tank for that because you end up with a lot of hydrochloric acid as byproducts. Just doing that while I notice it. But there is the vinyl chloride. So we have a... All right, I do over here. We'll use this one. Like I said, eventually this will all be on its own separate thing. Right now I'm just doing it to get it made for the first time. Now, final chloride needs a zero. Do we have a zero circuit? I mean, do I have any circuits? Oh man, I don't have any circuits. No! Any of these have circuits? I don't want to use that. I gotta make more circuits. All right, this should be most of it. I was really trying to avoid crafting more of these up until I get all the SMD things. But gotta do what we gotta do. But man, look how fast that's going. Uh, it's definitely speeding up. So there we go. There is one of those. In there, and then what did I say? I need is zero. Yes, zero. All right, so there is our polyvinyl chloride. We'll get a decent amount from all that. We can see. Um, I don't know. We'll let that all process, I think. Should we? We'll need that ethylene. So yeah, I'll just let that whole thing process. Uh, I probably won't. I don't think I'll do much more. I think I need nine more buckets of oxygen. Man, these get so annoying when they don't stack. I think it's because some have been used and some haven't. So they have, I don't know, different. Actually, that is, I don't know what that is. That's a weird, yeah, that's definitely like a weird kind of number. Yeah. Hey, uh, why do you have to get some weird? But anyway, this is why I like to have my own separate. I like to have an own line for that because you, then you don't have to worry about weird amounts and stuff like that. Because right now that's just going to clog up. That basically just clogs up my thing until I can either craft more or... Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably just leave it for now. But uh, all right, there we go. There is our polyvinyl chloride. So there is the second sheet. Oh, if... Easy to know that's PVC. <laughs> I heard that before. PVC pipes. That's polyvinyl chloride. I did not know that, but uh, that's Greg Tech. He's always teaching me about this stuff. <laughs> and we ended up like with a weird little number. Ah, that's annoying. Hey, you know what? Just yeah, screw it. I don't want that in there. But uh, I did want the sheets. So now we can craft up the sheets. And this is also annoying. I need to get probably have a separate bending machine for this do oh yeah that's probably good um because we need a bunch of those but i'll leave those for now boy is this getting see like they just don't stack Maybe if I do I do this and that. There we go. Now they stack. So there is that. I need what was the SMD? The yellow one. Now the cool thing about this is these capacitors. If we look at the capacitor recipe. This is what I just used in the other one. You get two for two aluminum foils and a polyethylene sheet. You get two for this one, one aluminum foil, and then button. you get 16. So, I mean, using the SMDs, there is like no if, ands, or buts about it. You just use those. That is 100% best way to do that. Oh, I'm, my goodness, I am low on aluminum. Need to 
I need to process a whole bunch of that box. I just haven't got around to it. Which is kind of the name of the game at this point. Just haven't got around to it. Just haven't got around to it. Oh, I have a whole bunch here, though. Um, I'm going to get this processing here. So we can get the rutile out of it. And then I will get the aluminum out of it. Alright. So this is where we start getting into annoying with these things. I wish there was just a... Why is there no cluster mill? Cluster mill used to be a thing, or is a thing in other versions, that gives you these oils. I don't know why it's not in this one. Basically, I have to put it through a betting machine twice with a different circuit. Like, how that... Who? Yeah, no. I don't like that. Like, that's annoying. And then, since I rarely ever need these... Oils, then I have to put it back before I use it. But there we go. There is that. And then I will turn this into SMDs. Now, what was the... I probably need some polyethylene. What is that? Four. I'm doing eight. So I need two polyethylene. Is that... That math check out, I think. Again, at some point, we will probably have an assembler just filled with polyethylene, so we don't ever. We can use the one assembler for all these SMD parts. But over there, I'm doing this a bit manually, uh, which I actually don't mind. But it's kind of annoying when you're recording because it does take a little longer. So, all right, there we go. That will last us for quite a long time like that and with that I think I can finally get yes I can make these the easier way instead of having to do resistors capacitors transistors I can finally do it this way um, unfortunately I had to I guess I didn't need to I could have borrowed one of those circuits I really didn't need to because now I have extra resistors and uh, no the other ones were right but these resistors are probably at this point I will probably never use them again And I know the second I destroy them, I'll probably need them, but they're really easy to craft up. So, all right. So there is that. Now, epoxy. Epoxy is the big one. Now, I did look at the flow chart on this. Unfortunately, I can't really can't show it. I can show it on my second monitor, but I'm not screen capturing or window capturing or whatever, so you can't see it. Um, but it is, if I... All right, so I'm going to go this way, I think, with the way they have it set up. I've never done it this way, so... Um, I think it'll be pretty cool. Now, what it is... Let's see. All right. A lot of this stuff I have already got set up. One thing we're going to need is hydrochloric acid, which wants you to make chlorine. So we already set that up, which is cool. But one part that I definitely don't have, where there's two things, it is suggesting we get it from two different types of chicken. Uh, one is a smog chicken, which I actually kind of wanted to get to craft it up anyway. And the other one is a canola chicken. So let's take a look at these. What are we looking at? Entropy infused dust, infinity dust, smart chicken, charcoal dust, epoxy resin. Well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> right. It needs us. We need epoxy resin to get the dang chicken in the first place. That's annoying. Um, what it is trying to get out of it is charcoal byproducts. Now there is this. Charcoal byproducts were turned into three chemicals. That's basically what we're going to use the smog thing for that. So how are we going to get this? Yeah, the, the smog enriched eggs will get us sludge, which will turn the sludge into that. That's how it's going to eventually be done. The question is, 
how are we gonna go about doing that? Eh, maybe we won't. Hmm. Let me think about this really quick, because there are other options to do epoxy, and I don't want to. I don't think. Well, we can't get. It doesn't look like there's any way to get this without doing a pyrolis. Well, I don't want to craft up a whole pyrolis oven just for something that I will end up not needing. Sludge. Is there any way to get sludge? Oil, fermented by. I mean, we could. There are some ways. Did I ferric sand? That must be on a different planet. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I don't know. Yeah, let me figure out how I want to go about doing this. Uh, basically, this part of it is for this one all. It's basically sending us down this route, I think, is what that this flow chart is telling us to do. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, see, so here's the, like, Hydrochloric acid that it wants us to go up. Uh, yeah, let me think about what I want to do. I may. I may do this one just to get the 1000 epoxy resin. Maybe that's what I'll do. We have a whole bunch of oil, right? We still have oil. Did I get rid of it? No, I don't think I got rid of it. We should have like a whole full thing of oil. All right, not a full thing, but we have four, 1,500 buckets of it. Yeah, all right, let me do that. There's also, there also a, uh, I remember a quest saying something about fluid transfer. I have no idea what this does. I'm assuming we need like two of these, don't we? Wireless transmission to fluid. All right, well, no idea how that actually works. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. All right, I have been kind of taking a look at everything and I'm kind of getting a grasp of everything. There's lots of different parts. Overall, it doesn't look too terrible. Um, I did go ahead and get a 64 buckets of oil and just put it in the distillery, turning it into sulfuric and naphtha. That's actually going to give us 12. We need 12 buckets to um, do what I want to do. And basically that is going to, <laughs> of course, <laughs> That stuff's in there, screwing everything up. All right, well, let's just void it. I have nowhere to put that stuff at the moment, but basically we're gonna do that, and then I need to feed it um, hydrogen, and then that basically takes out the two buckets. I couldn't remember the ratio. That basically takes out the sulfur from the naphtha. And see, I love that. I love how it just turns on and fills up what we need. I definitely am a fan of those uh, chickens. I'm also noticing the chickens are definitely kind of like really, really integrated into progression. I thought that originally I thought they were kind of like a a side thing but no they really feel like it is pushing you into get using chickens uh, but there we go there is our 12 buckets of naphtha we're going to use that to get that is that going to be enough what's four times 288 is that over a thousand is that i think that's just over a thousand isn't it let me just double check 288 times four. Oh yeah, that's funny. That's over a thousand. And then we'll use the we'll use that epoxy resin to get the smog chicken. That's what we'll do. Um that way I don't have to worry about pyrolists and all that stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, not the intended route, I don't think, but uh we're gonna do. So I need uh epoxy. There we go. Let's throw that up there. So there is that. Um, then we need nitrogen dioxide, not a problem. So we need four buckets of that. Basically, just go over, you know, and get it. Um, mix 
oxygen and nitrogen, which is not a problem. The last bit here is going to be a bit of a problem, and that is the epichlorohydrin. So I need four of those. Now there's a bunch of different ways to get it. And quick. Uh, it wants us glycerol and hydrochloric acid is the way it's telling us to go. So hydrochloric acid, not a problem. Just chlorine hydrogen. Easy. Easy peasy. The glycerol though is a little bit more difficult. So I need tiny piles of sodium hydroxide and then we mix it with other things. So seed oil, fish oil, methanol. I just used all my ethanol. I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Um, what is it telling us? It's glycerol. Yeah, glycerol and wait, no. Seed oil. Telling us, yeah, seed oil and Seed oil, water, and this one. This is the recipe it's suggesting we use. So seed oil, it's telling us to get from canola. Is that in here somewhere? It's not. Canola seed. Crystallized canola seed. Hmm. All right, I'm missing, I'm missing part of it here. I'm definitely there I'm missing something here. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, canola seeds. There. Fluid transposer. Hmm. Well, that was a bit surprising that I wanted us to do that. Maybe we should just do I mean, these are easy enough. Maybe Yeah, maybe I'll just use those until we can get we even craft up a fluid transposer at this point? But as we can see, like, it's kind of using, like, a whole bunch of different... Oh, that's really easy. Yeah, we totally can. We've done all that before. All right. Let me, I guess... Oh, that's... All right, that's a bit of an issue because it does use RF. And I don't have... I don't really have any way to... This is the only place I have powering it. Um... All right, let me think about what I want to do here and we'll be back. And we are back. I just did the, dang it, I forgot I had stuff in there. I just did regular seeds. I only need 50. I realized there, we only need, we need one bucket of that and we get with this, whatever, I can't remember that, there. So 500 seed oil actually gets us one whole bucket of that. Well, I actually don't need a lot. So. There's the seed oil. I guess we'll just throw it in here. Seed. Where did my. Oh, there it is. Oh, where did that go? You. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but we need like. 500. And then. Yeah, well, there's the water. And then way over here. As a byproduct of what we were doing, I have tons of sodium hydroxide. I need tiny piles. I just need the one. For now. There. Nice. Now, I need to get rid of this water. Just kind of do some shenanigans here to avoid that. <laughs> that was also I could avoid that. There is some weirdness happening with this steel drum. Did you... Did... That's weird, right? <laughs> is it just that? No, it looks like it's just the steel drum that's doing it. Alright, so there's definitely that's something going on funny with that. But there is our glycerol. And then we can actually get that in there. But we will mix that with hydrochloric acid. So there's the chlorine, there's that, hydrochloric acid. As we can see, oh, I didn't need to make more, I already had some. But we'll mix that, we'll mix that. These cells are very, very handy. And there's our epichlorohydrin. 
which that is actually really easy. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that. But basically we're going to do one of that, naphtha, and what's the last bit of it? Hydrogen dioxide. I did forget to get that. Uh, let me... Yeah, let me craft up that... Oh, there's sulfur. <laughs> I knew I had some sulfur somewhere. Um, yeah, let me craft up the nitrogen... How much do we need? I need... Basically, we have to do this four times. The so four. So, what, eight and two? Eight and four. Man, I just don't have enough. Eight oxygen. I need four nitrogen. Do I not have any more of those? I have to have one. Oh, look at that! I had already had nitrogen dioxide. Fortunately, I can't put that oxygen back in. <laughs> oh, I can. Nice. It didn't fill it up that fast. So, what was that? Three? Nitrogen. It's three and six. Alright. Um, can I? I might be able to actually do it in this one. Just kidding with that stuff. Nitrogen. Oxygen. What is the thing? Is a yeah. But you can see how like time consuming this is if you're doing it all manually. But uh, we will for sure get this. I totally messed that up. Yep. Did I? Yep. I miscalculated that because you get three. <laughs> I was thinking there was. You're only gonna get one. No, I screwed that up. Oh well. Um, applicable hydrogen, nitrogen dioxide, and naphtha. And there we go. There is our epoxy resin. We got the one that we need. Hydrochloric acid. A bit hard to tell. But we're going to take that and we're going to use this epichlorohydrogen to get a smog chicken. And that will let us uh, not worry about the whole oil and all that shenanigans. And we'll be able to get the chicken from that. All right. But unfortunately, we're out of, uh, out of time today. So I think, yeah, next episode, we're going to have to get two more chickens. I think I do want to set up... I think we're going to go with the way it wants us to do it. I think that would be kind of fun. If we do canola seeds into a, wherever it was, crystallized seeds into, I can't remember how it told us to do it, but um, I already forgot. Fluid transposer, this one. Yeah, we'll get a fluid transposer, and then that'll be our seed oil, and yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, that's going to be for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.